It's a day in summer. You know, one of those lazy, ordinary days where nothing much happens, except the ordinary things that happen every day. At least that's the way this day started out. Two kids playing in the park, and there were these three guys watching them. The one with the car is Eddie. This is Joe. And the studious guy with the magazine is Mike. Like I say, it was an ordinary kind of pleasant summer's day. Of course, it was a work day for some people. Take a good look at this woman. What would you say? Typical American housewife? A kind with no help and a house full of kids? I guess so. By the end of the day, she won't seem so typical. In a little while, you'll see why. Here's her youngest. Her name is Shirley. Shirley's just had a birthday. And this is her very favorite birthday toy. I ask you to take a long look at Shirley, too. This is going to be a big day for Shirley. A very big day. But she doesn't know that yet. Here's another girl we'd like you to meet. A girl in a hurry. She's got an appointment and she can't be late. Sometimes when you're in a hurry, you forget things. This girl found that out. But let's get back to the park. After all, it's summer, and a park's a good place to be in the summer. There's Joe. There's Eddie. Where's Mike? Looks like Mike's found a friend. Her name's Sally. She thinks Mike's a pretty cool character. This might have been a real serious thing if it hadn't been for what happened that day, that summer day. But like the song says, it's all over now. This is the last time she'll say goodbye to him with that certain look in her eyes. The very last. So here we are. Nothing to do, no place to go. Just hanging around, waiting for something to happen.
You start with some guy's cap laying in the middle of the street. You know, finders, keepers, losers, weepers. You horse around and you have a couple of laughs. Anything to fill up time. Because time is what there's plenty of in the park in the summertime. Here's our girl with the convertible. Hurry up, hurry up, can't be late. What's the matter? Forget something? Well, what difference does it make? She'll only be gone a minute. Quiet now. This is where it begins. This is the point of no return. After this bit, you don't go back anymore. decision for Joe. What do you think he ought to do? What do you think he will do? Okay, Miss Danahy. 55 Pontiac Convertible, red with black trim, license number CE1027. We'll call you as soon as we got anything. Hi, Sally. How about a ride? Hi, Sally. Gee, where'd you get the nice car? This is great. Uh, it's my brother-in-law. Sally doesn't know it yet, but if she gets into that car, she's letting herself in for an awfully bum rap. If Mike and Eddie get caught, it's going to be up to her to prove she didn't know the car was stolen. Otherwise... Have a nice ride. All cars. All cars. Stolen car. Black and red 55 Pontiac convertible. License number... C. Charles, E. Edward, 1027. Car stolen during the past 10 minutes from the Albright Art Gallery. All cars. Stolen car. Black and red, 55 Pontiac convertible. License number C. Charles, E. Edward, 1027. Car stolen during the last 10 minutes from the Albright Art Gallery. There goes that black and red convertible. Of course, you know what's going to happen. There's going to be a chase. The joy riders are going to get caught. And somebody's going to get in trouble. I wish that were all there was to this story. I wish it could end right now. But it can't. There was somebody else involved. This woman. 
and this little girl. This is the street they live on. It's a quiet street, part residential, part business. Shirley's mother and dad would like to move out to where there's more living space and fewer trucks. In a year, they figure they can swing it. Who knows? Maybe they can. Maybe they'll still want to. On this day, this summer day, Shirley and her friends were having a dress-up parade. A few blocks away, Black and red 55 convertible. License number C. Charles E. Edward 1027. Now headed north on Elmwood Avenue near Hinman. Car number five is in pursuit. This is where it's going to happen. Down below us is a parked car. Across the street, a factory building. Coming toward us, Shirley and the dress-up parade. At one end of the street, this. At the other end, this. Now watch. All right, you kid, go on home. Hurry up, run along. Go on. Stop it, Eddie. Stop it. You don't know what you're saying. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. Come on. You hear what I said, kids? Go on home now. Go on home. Come on, there. Come on, there, the car. Shirley? Shirley? Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> 